Hi guys, this is Watsy playing Boom Beach, and today we're going to be taking on another operation because, um, well, really, I, I kind of like the operations. You know, everyone's different. You know, when I'm taking out player bases, it's it's the same old thing really. So I'm going to try and break up with some op operations in between, and I was going to try and do a gear heart attack yesterday, but the problem is my phone um, has totally gone kaput. Basically, the uh, the lightning connector at the bottom has gone. So anyway, I've ordered a new one. I've managed to borrow an iPhone so that I can continue playing. Um, so I am bringing you a video today. And I've had a look at some of these others. And to be honest, they're doable solo. But to be honest, I don't really want to do distortion today. Um, I think I'll leave that for... Because distortion is, is never usually like that one. Distortion is usually a bit different. And um, quite often that's better to do with an all-zooker. And this breakwater is just... Well, it's not really even one that should be on Mambo. So anyway, we do the Mambo oper um, operation attack all the time. So we've got Commodore as well. And if any of you ever take on Commodore, you know Commodore is pretty much uh, either a one or a two person attack. Now, with this one, I don't think it's suitable to do one attack on all Zooka. I think the rocket launchers are too deadly and you've got the shock launcher there as well. And if you miss, if you miss shock, especially with all these mines, if you miss shock, then it's game over, especially with that flamethrower as well. So you need at least two shocks there. Plus you've got all them mortars, and I don't think it's it's doable with all the smokes all the way there and to shock over there. I don't think I've... Well, I definitely haven't got the gunboat energy for it. So anyway, I'm going to take it on with uh, the skank attack, which is scorchers and tanks, and they're both max level. I'm boosted up. I'm not full boost. One, one troop damage statue I haven't boosted, only because I don't think I need to. So I'm just going to try and clear a main path for this and chuck a few barrages down so all the mo most of the mines are gone. Um, and just try and make it easier for the next person to do an all zooker or something like that. So anyway, let's get into this. And I mean, on an attack like this, it, it really is good to have two attacks. You know, it takes the pressure off. So the other ones are all doable in one attack. So I'm not really needing to worry about that. I'm going to throw a shock down on those cannons because I don't want to bother taking damage at the start. I don't think there's really a need to. So anyway, we're going to take down these cannons and they shouldn't take too long to go down. Although there is quite a boost on this. I think the the cannons have a boost of about 24,000, which is just under 300%. I think it's about 250 to 270%, something like that. Now, I want to clear them shock launchers as well, because... Well, actually, I don't really need to clear the shock launchers, but I want to clear as much of it as I can, because, in fact, I'm going to throw a shock down on those flamethrowers, because they do eventually cause a lot of damage to Scorchers. But I need to clear as much of the right side as possible, so that Azuka can come all the way down the right-hand side and not be bothered by anyone. So, anyway, we need to take down a load of these flamethrowers. We need to take down try and take down some of these cannons when they actually turn and fire right like now so we need to throw a shot down there and we can shock a huge bunch of them which is really good and we're just going to throw another shot to the side now I'm going to throw a barrage down here and another barrage a bit closer to the core and we'll try and clear as much of that as possible I could really do with another shot I'm not going to get it so what I'm going to do is throw some critters down in between those cannons and now I'm just going to send all my troops to the back here because my tanks are getting shot. They've got no defence. So what I need is my Scorchers to come over this way so that um, they can be in front of the, the uh, in front of the tanks. So I'm just going to send them back again because none of them are actually meeting up. And my tanks are still going to be in front, which is not good. Hopefully they get shot before they get there, which... <coughs> realistically don't so I'm actually going to lose a few tanks here so I mean I've done what I've needed to do I've cleared out most of the the run for them so that's quite good so I just need to clear some of these cannons so now I'm down for the cannons I'm just going to throw some artilleries on those cannons try and clear them out and I really don't know if I'm going to do anything else no that's pretty much going to be it um, I don't know why I threw a smoke down on him because actually I didn't want to didn't want to wait to the end. But basically, I think that's a pretty good first attack on Commodore because now, I mean, someone can run all the way up to this position here without being even slightly affected with Zookas. So you're going to bring them over this side. 
they can afford to chuck one, two, two barrages, I think that's good enough. Then keep them over this right side here, around this area, and we can, someone then can shock over here, one shock there, one shock here, and also another one on that shock launcher. And by that point, they should be able to take down that power core. Um, even if they needed to use a few extra bra um, a few extra shocks, I think if you boost your gunboat energy, which we boost for every op, then you should have enough gunboat energy to throw down six shocks, possibly. So, anyway, really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I can't keep it going on too long, because for some reason the power keeps tripping in the house, and the Wi-Fi keeps going off, which means my video will stop. So, I thought I'll at least stop it on my terms. That'd be ideal. So, anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll try and be back soon. Cheers.